<laughs> Hello, my glampires and ghouls and werewolf fussies. Ew, I hate how that sounded. Let's pretend I didn't say that. But anyway, welcome to this really special episode of Ranking Things. I need to come up with a name for this series. Anyway, <laughs> we're doing the best acting moments in Twilight. Now, you know, every single moment in these movies is perfection, but I had to choose the top 10. So without further ado, let's sink our teeth. I hate being a dad. Uh, let's let's just sink our teeth into this apple. Let's go. Number 10, starting off strong, we have Jacob waiting in the woods in Breaking Dawn Part 1 to tell Bella not to have a real honeymoon because he just assumed that even after she was married that he would choose her. It's not like you're gonna have a real honeymoon with him anyway. It's gonna be as real as anyone else's. That's a sick joke. You are joking. What, while you're still human? You can't be serious, Bella. Tell me you're not that stupid. I mean, it's really none of your business. No, you can't do this. Jake. Listen to me, Bella. Let me go! I mostly love, though, like the raw, just hurt and disappointment he feels conveyed by him shaking her, like shaking baby syndrome. Number nine. <laughs> Edward, <laughs> number nine is the scene where Edward Googles <laughs> vampire babies <laughs> in Breaking Dawn part two. <laughs> I can't even get it out because it's so ridiculous. This idea that they're ancient, like these are hundreds of years old vampires, right? Maybe not all of them, but still they know a little something. And instead of consulting maybe other vampires, which they eventually do, they go on Google. <laughs> the montage of him typing into Google is just upset over his findings. I don't think that there has been anything close to it in movies that have brought me such joy. I want to know who approved that. Who is like, yeah, we'll have this really great montage of Edward. Not in a library, like not looking at books. <laughs> on Google. <laughs> okay, okay. <sighs> okay, I just think... <laughs> Carlisle's a doctor. He's a freaking doctor. They're consulting Dr. Google. Are you next? <laughs> Number eight. Oof. When I first saw this in theaters, my little like 13 year old heart was like, this is so romantic. <laughs> this is the sweetest thing ever. It is when Jacob and Edward fight each other in the parking lot of Bella's house. It's the iconic, I I I I'm Switzerland guys. That scene. I'm tired of this. From now on, I'm Switzerland. When when he got in his face, when Edward was like up against Jake's face, she doesn't know what she wants. I mean, she doesn't. I mean, she's just a gal and she doesn't know what she wants. And I think a lot of people don't forget that. Like when you're in high school, you just like don't know what you want. <laughs> and like having two hot guys fight over you is even harder. And sometimes you just like don't know who you want. <laughs> I also just like that scene because Charlie came out and Charlie, I'm starting to recognize this, like as I'm rewatching the movies, was really the protagonist of this movie. Like he persevered through it all, okay? His daughter was terrible to him. He had virtually no love life, although Emily Clearwater, so I guess that. But on the whole, like he was going through the ringer and he made it out despite his terrible daughter and her poor life choices. Okay, next one. Number seven is singed into my mind. The one face of Kristen Stewart going, oh, uh, is the Jacob punch scene where he kisses her and she punches him, which you know what, rightfully so, because he had no right to do that. Her reaction after punching him, I guess is actually, this is before the Switzerland scene. So 
those two, I guess, were really just brilliant pieces of work that went one after the other. But just those like that that face that she gives the uh, right after she does the. I mean, I don't think an actress has pulled off that type of expression since that scene. I mean, you can argue with me in the comments, but it's gonna be hard to. It's gonna be difficult. Number six. Now I've seen pain portrayed in movies. You know, I've seen people lose loved ones. I've seen people lose limbs, but I have never seen the agony so beautifully expressed. Then at the end of the movie Twilight, where she's in the dance studio writhing in pain um, after getting her leg broken, thrown into a wall, and bitten. Carlisle, the blood. Your brothers will take care of him. I got him. Start the fire. Hit the floorboard. Alice. Alice, go. <laughs> Number five, the <laughs> Bella Breaking Dawn, I'm Pregnant scene. Gimme, gimme, gimme Am I pregnant? Am I pregnant? That, I'll never be able to be as versatile in my acting as that performance. I think my favorite part about that scene is she is all of maybe, maybe three days pregnant and yet she can feel a kick. And it's a violent kick too. It's not just like, ooh, like I, I think I just ate something. I don't feel good. Like my stomach is gurgling. Like this was, this was Bilella. Number four, this scene is the twilight. I like watching you sleep make out scene in Bella's room. And a little fun fact, my favorite part about this is this actually was the audition. Imagine, go, let's watch this together. How did you get in here? The window. Do you do that a lot? Well, just the past couple of months. I like watching you sleep. You stay very still. Don't move. This scene, the, all this heavy, uncomfortable, awkward breathing, like major secondhand embarrassment, Catherine Hardwick, the director, was like, oh my God, like this is teenage romance. And she, she might not be wrong, like it might be because I was 11 and I thought that it was the most romantic thing ever. Some guy coming in through the window, watching her sleep, really just like staring into her soul and breathing down her throat like that to me was just, Pride and Prejudice, Titanic, like everything combined in that moment. Number three, you name my daughter after the Loch Ness Monster? Yes, yes they did, Bella. From the beginning, it was Nessie who wanted me there. Nessie? You nicknamed my daughter after the Loch Ness Monster? And the, again, she does unbridled anger like no one else does. Contrasting with Mr. Lautner's just perfect response that every parent wants to hear. So yes, I imprinted on your newborn daughter. Anyway, that scene made me also want to name my future daughter after the Loch Ness Monster. Number two is the new moon breakup in the woods. I I'm, I'm coming, Edward, I I'm coming. Bella, I don't want you to come. I'm coming. Bella. I don't want you to come. <laughs> I think that what really is just like cherry on top of the scene is how anytime they have to have some sort of serious conversation, it's in the middle of the woods. You know, it can't be in Bella's bedroom. It, it can't be hanging out on the benches after school. It has to be somewhere in the wilderness where no one else can see or hear them. Bella is crazy. I think that like, like this scene was really just showcasing mental health in teenagers and how maybe it's better for them not to be in relationships with vampires. Like that's really what I learned from this movie. Like that was the overall theme is, mm, 
uh, maybe dating the supernatural as a 17 year old it could cause some emotional and mental turmoil but if they're really hot then it doesn't matter most important lesson the number one number one number one number one baby this one i didn't even need to think about is her in the hospital in twilight at the very end when edward comes in and basically is like we can't be together because you know you almost died because of me and she has a fit over it Bobby, you gotta go to jacksonville so i can't hurt you anymore what are you s no no how I don't even know what you're saying. How? What are you? What are you talking about? You? You want me to go away? I? I, I can't. No. I. I can't. I can't just leave you. I While I studied at Juilliard, I actually did this scene for my thesis. So I just wanted to show you guys. Edward. No. No. Edward. No. Edward. No. No. You. You can't leave me. What? 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 Thank you. Fun fact, that scene was sponsored by the ability to blink and stutter. All jokes aside, like I like I do love Kristen Stewart. I'm not I'm not joking. Like I actually do really like her. Uh, but I can't deny that her portrayal of Bella shattered the acting world. <laughs> Before I go, I just wanted to give two honorable mentions because I mean the whole movie should be mentioned, all of them, but there was two scenes that I didn't include that I also thought were spectacular. Number one. Uh, Jasper just suddenly having a southern accent in the movie Eclipse when he was talking about Maria. Bounce guys. Like he, he pulled it out of nowhere. He never had that in any of the other movies. Acting guys. Uh, and finally the other honorable mention was the scene where Edward proposed in Eclipse where uh, Bella comes to sleep over. He buys her a bed. He doesn't have a bed in his room because he doesn't sleep. Uh, for her to sleep over and she is down bad okay she wants to get with edward and edward is like don't no don't touch me like you know you can't touch me we're not married like <laughs> i hope you guys had a great time doing this i had an absolute blast ranking these i have to go my animatronic child from chuck e cheese resume is calling my name brb gotta go run into the the woods i will see you guys in another video uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye!